No valvular regurgitation, no wall motion abnormalities, no structural defects. If you didn't sound so despondent, I'd say that was good news. It is for you, not for him. Notice any heaviness in your legs the last couple of days? Why isn't it good news for you? Because if there's nothing wrong with you, he gets fired. Seriously? Somewhat seriously. Your legs? I haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary. Shortness of breath. Would it help if I puked? Pick a card. Any tightness in your chest or arms? Pick a card. You don't seem too worried. Would you please pick a card? Our boss thinks your cardiac arrest was just a result of you accidentally drowning. Your boss is an idiot. Put it back. Shuffle him up. So then why aren't you worried? Either I'm dying or I'm not. I mean, I don't want the ride to be over, but unless worrying is some new form of treatment, your card. No. We're going to prep you for a transesophageal echo. You sure you shuffled these? And I'm going to need to sedate you. Might want to check your wallet first. Well, check your wallet. It's part of the trick. Uh oh. That's my card. How did you do that? Do it again. A fungus in my lungs? How would I even get something like that? Well, right now, it's just a theory. We don't even know if it's... Oh, no, I should have done those mushrooms in college. I'm sure there's no connection. It's a joke. You really lose your sense of humor when your job's on the line, huh? Sorry, most dying people don't really like to... Not that you're dying. But a little sick would be perfect. Yeah. Ow! 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 Stop it! Stabbing or throbbing? <laughs> Great Turner sign. He's got internal bleeding. I'll call surgery. What are you giving me? How'd you do the trick? Oh, if I explain it, it becomes mundane. You lose the actual magic. What do you mean the actual magic? You think you're actually sawing women in half? Are you gonna tell me what's wrong with me or not? Magic is cool. Actual magic is oxymoronic. Might not even be oxy. You're not gonna tell me unless I tell you. <laughs> you got a nurse to plant the card. I can't get a nurse to help me pee. You got a buddy to plant the card. Fun is in not knowing. The fun is in knowing. Oh, my head. Oh, I got a headache. How bad? Is it new? Oh, it's not too bad. I'll, I'll just take one of these Vicodin. <laughs> you eat a lot of beets, you have an electric toothbrush, and you sleep less than six hours a night. That's impressive. The red betamine from the beets stains the plaque deposits on your teeth, which are then swirled by your spinning toothbrush. Your heavy lids and your prematurely aging skin tell me that you're carrying a major sleep debt. That was way cooler before you explained it. It was meaningless until I explained it. People come to my show because they want a sense of wonder. They want to experience something that they can't explain. If the wonder's gone when the truth is known, there never was any wonder. You have tularemia from your rabbits. Put you on antibiotics, you'll be better in a couple of days. Sorry to spoil a mystery. You. I'll get it. Oh my. God, you're not wearing underwear. Of course I'm. Skirt that tight, you got no secrets. Skirt that tight, I can tell if you've got an IUD. You seen Dr. Cole? No. You're blushing. I am not. Look at me. Oh my God. How'd you do it? So I'm safe? In this job, yeah. Crotch, on the other hand. How'd you do it? Prayer, mostly. Just tell me. Does Cuddy have a groove back? 
It'd be rude of me to discuss. You handed over her panties. I don't think gallantry is really an option at this point. If I tell you, then where's the magic? He passed out. Ultrasound revealed bleeding around his heart. We drained 100 cc's before it stopped. The antibiotics aren't working. It's obviously not tularemia or any other infection. Excuse me. We were talking. Bleeding around the heart could mean botched biopsy when Cole was looking for the- Why would you accuse the man who decides your fate of screwing up? Those really were her panties? Cole has traveled through the forest of crustaceans and brought us a treasure. He has earned his reward. If I could just get the immunity, I would- No, Sophie, you can't. Use whatever criteria you want. Could be a clotting issue. If he developed DIC after the surgery, even a normal biopsy bleeds out of control. So, cardiac arrest and DIC, what's the common denominator? Could be cancer. We've been looking in his chest since he got here, it's clean. So the main mass is somewhere else. Throws up a clot, blocks an artery in his heart, causes the arrest. Good. Go find out where he's hiding his cancer. If he swallowed any more metal, now would be a good time to tell us. Oh, my hands feel kind of numb. And hey, you lost a lot of blood. I'm gonna die. Everybody gets scared in the hospital. You're sick, you feel awful. No. This time tomorrow, I'll be dead. He's going on the block. He thinks he's dying. He's probably right. Tomorrow. You decide to put me up, I totally get it. Nothing personal. I haven't decided anything. But you don't like me. I like you. Some fluid in the lungs. No masses. I'm manipulative. I play the game. I can be a bitch. There's a dark spot. Damage from where the key ripped through. You're probably expecting me to bash the others, give examples of how they screwed up. You know I can. I'm a good doctor. As good as anybody around here. Probably better. You know that's the only thing that matters. What's that? It's not a tumor, it's another bleed. This one's in his kidney. And his thigh. He's bleeding all over the place. His timetable may be right on. It's creepy. The patient predicted his own death. Would have been more impressive if he predicted that he wasn't gonna die. Of course, that takes longer to prove. Could be a symptom. Sense of impending doom. Yeah, could be adrenal gland disorders, blood issues, anaphylaxis. If you're gonna kiss his ass to protect your ass, at least wait until he's had a good idea. It's a symptom of him being a charlatan. He's a second-rate magician with a mysterious illness. Why wouldn't he predict his own death? If he's wrong, we all forget it. If he's right, he goes out of legend. He got scared right after a transfusion. Tainted blood has been known to cause a sense of impending doom. Could also explain the DIC. I predict all your pagers go off right now. <sighs> if it had happened, Anyone bother looking at his panel? His immunoglobulin levels are low. That doesn't tell us anything specific. Are you about... acting stupid because you know you're safe? Clever. Low immunoglobulin plus failing heart plus fluid in the lungs plus internal bleeding equals amyloidosis. He's bleeding way too much for amyloidosis. Is there anything about his hands or feet feeling weak? He said his hands felt numb, but that's explained by the blood loss. No! Do not give me credit for that. Close doesn't count. That's how people get sucked into this stupidity. He's seizing. Somebody stabilize him. The rest of you pull his medical records. Go back 10 years. Look for joint pain, fatigue, anything associated with amyloidosis. You might want to think about repositioning the crosswalk. It's technically not a violation, but the closer they are to the entrance, the more likely they are to be used. Makes sense. Wasn't actually expecting it till next month. Yeah, it's the problem with planned visits. Administrators plan for them. <laughs> so uh, the most recent New Jersey hospital accreditation requirements. Yeah, I'm familiar with it. 
was that? I have no idea. Uh, shall we get started? Just let me go. I won't press charges. Forget the whole thing. That's probably true. Seeing as how you have a brain tumor. You're that nut job doctor that keeps calling my publicist. Actually, I'm the nut job head of diagnostic medicine. I run every day. I don't get headaches, I'm fine. So if you don't mind. Actually, I do mind. I don't care if you die. But if Brock Sterling dies, Anna never finds out he's the father of Marie's baby. Help! Help! We're gonna need a wheelchair! Here. Look, in the last month, your average line reading has slowed from 2.1 seconds to 2.9. You're pausing more, always at the same intervals, every seven to nine words, which means you're having trouble reading one side of the teleprompter, which means a peripheral vision problem, which means a tumor in your occipital lobe. Just one test. If there's nothing wrong, I'll take you right back home. Make a cab fare. I don't want you anywhere near my house. I just put it in my spot. So the nut job was right. Usually is. He said I was dying. He's wrong a lot, too. That's why we do these tests. It's my heart, doctor. It's racing. I'm sure it's nothing. You're a healthy woman, Marie. Shouldn't you examine me? Why don't you have Rico do it? You can't tell me you didn't notice that pause. Sorry. What's this, the AV club? It's diagnostic. Everything's under control. Yeah. Excellent job so far. House outside. What about Rico? Keep watching. You'll never guess what Rico's got in that box. Rico doesn't even know I'm alive. You have an obsession with an actor or the character he plays, I feel for you. You need to work it out. But I need you to do it when the hospital's accreditation and my job are not on the line. You want the star of the hottest daytime drama on TV to die in your hospital? No, I want you to cure him without committing any more felonies. Got some activity on the tumescence monitor as well. There's nothing wrong with this naughty. It's not B6 toxicity. <laughs> Did he just finish? Uh, sometimes uh, when you have him, you know, for a while, you... His heart rate's through the roof, 220 and climbing. He's headed for cardiac arrest. What are you doing here? Just grabbing a snack. You keep food in the morgue? If I keep it in the lounge, everyone else eats it. That's because it's everyone else's food. Oh, that was just everyone else's bags. The accreditation board will let us on fire for this. We're not gonna find out. Unless, of course, Conway planned on inspecting the morgue in, say, two minutes. Is that why you're here? You're gonna get me fired over a sandwich? No, over a TV. And you're not gonna get fired, because you're gonna fold. No, I won't. But you're gonna push it. So we need a safe word signal your unconditional surrender. Call me Sweet Sauce. Dr. House, I don't think we've met. Dr. Jamie Conway, I've heard your name. Most people have. It's also a noun. I sometimes come down here to relax, unwind, maybe grab a... Sweet Sauce. It's a nickname. An ironic nickname. You made it to page eight. Mysterious hospital visit for Soap Doc. Well, I'll be sure to send my mom a copy. They told me I have an autoimmune disease, like lupus or sarcoidosis. That's what we're here to find out. When I get out of here, I'm not going to be afraid anymore. I mean, how many guys get a second chance? Too many. Half the people I say don't deserve a second chance. Now that I've got mine, I'm gonna set things right. I'm gonna start by being a better father to you, and to your sister, to, to your, your other sister. sister. 
You realize you're reciting lines from last season. We're gonna do all the things I promised. Just help me get out of this bed. Cooling blankets in here. This guy's brain is about to boil. You know where you are? What's your name? Dr. Brock Sterling. It's an allergy. That's why it's not responding to antibiotics. This isn't a soap opera house. People don't just wake up from comas the second you give them drugs. Especially if we give them the wrong drugs. What did the test say? It was negative for fungus and parasites, but that doesn't mean... The more infections we rule out, the more likely it is that it's not an infection. He has no history of allergies or asthma. Most importantly, none of his symptoms remotely resemble an allergic reaction. Allergens could trigger an allergic vasculitis. That would explain the symptoms. One in a million times. A septic infection always explains a symptom. But an infection is never resistant to every antibiotic. No, infection is rarely resistant. And allergy never responds to antibiotics. Never beats rarely. QED, I win. 100 milligrams of methylprednisolone is an overdose. You were wrong about the infection. He's suffering from a severe allergic reaction. The team hasn't finished the test for allergy. His symptoms don't... In rare cases... Trust me, at the end of this conversation, I'm right. Then confirm it. Get a blood test. What is it about this severe and deepening coma that makes you think we got time for protocol? Protocol has saved your patient from having his thyroid destroyed and his blood drained. <laughs> If you think I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. I'll talk about protocol. Tests are negative. Patients negative for all floral allergies. I'm gonna restart the antibiotics. If he's still alive. Ampicillin, two grams IV. Why? The steroids worked. House was right. The test was negative. You're still right. It was an allergy. To what? Thank you. So who's sick? 35-year-old single mom. It's an odd presentation of paralysis. Is there any history of drug use? No. She says there's no history. She's not a liar. OK. Well, this is gonna be a tough case. I have almost no knowledge of alien physiology. Everyone lies, but there's an exception to every rule. Actually, there isn't. It's kind of what makes it a rule. The patient's mother died of breast cancer when she was seven. She never even knew her mom was sick. She promised herself she would never hide anything from her own daughter. Oh, I didn't know she promised. And we're not her daughter. The patient inherited the BRCA1 mutation from her mom. She had a prophylactic double mastectomy 10 years ago. She lied about it. She told her coworker. she told her kid. She lied to the world. Reconstructive surgery is designed to convince people that- She didn't get reconstructive surgery. Okay, we can rule out breast cancer. Actually, I was gonna rule it in. Paralysis could be paraneoplastic. Even the best surgeon can't remove every cell of breast tissue. MRI, what's left of her chest, set the machine to scan for irony. I'm gonna go redo the patient history. Your mom tell you about all the drugs she does? She smokes pot once in a while, but not in a long time. What about you? How would that make her sick? Are you a doctor? I'm 11. That's not an answer. It's an evasion. Like drinking? You ever sneak a drink? I don't do any of that stuff. It's bad for you. I understand why well, you don't want your mom to know, but I'm her doctor, so... And I would tell my mom. And I would tell you. Why? Because she would never lie to me. What's her favorite way to have sex? I don't get what sex has to do with breast cancer. Are you a doctor? Did you go to med school since the last time I asked? And you just think we gotta be lying to... White lies? And what are those? Those are lies we tell to make other people feel better. I don't lie. Rationalizations? What are those? Those are lies we tell to make ourselves feel better. No, we lies don't. Lies of omission? Saddle bronc or doggy? It's sex talk. She used to like being on top, but now she likes to be on her stomach. That way she doesn't have to see them looking at her scars. 
How are you feeling? I still can't move my hands. It'll take a few more hours to cycle all your blood through the machine. What just happened? Nothing. What's wrong? What do you mean? The lights just went out. Didn't they? What did you do? Is this from the drugs? Most of the drugs should be out of your system by now, and our drugs I wouldn't. can't see. Do something! I can't see! I can't see! So they really never lie? Doesn't seem like it. Admirable. Tilt camera and everything? Huh. No. You think she keeps secrets? If I knew, they wouldn't be secrets. I hope she does. People have a right to a little privacy, even from the people they love. You buy a house a present? No, would I? Just screw with me. And I'm gonna say yes. Oh, wait, stop. Stop. What's that smell? The bone is smoking. The bones are harder than the drill? CA2 deficiency is a genetic disorder that scrambles proteins. If the blood test is positive, you'll need a bone marrow transplant. Transplant sounds like a euphemism for slim odds. Uh, slim, but not none. We're gonna need to test Jane for a match. Don't you have donor banks? Jane is your best bet. The procedure's perfectly safe. There's no risk. No risk. Any surgery has... Then don't some... tell me there's no risk. You're gonna tell me there's no pain either? The testing will hurt a little. I'll be fine. If she doesn't do this and you don't make it, she's gonna spend the rest of her life blaming herself. Mom, please. Find someone else. I can't be dying. Sure you can. You're wrong. You don't even know what I have. What you have is one last Christmas with your daughter. One last chance to give her a present. The truth is inexpensive, highly valued. Never have to stand in line to return it the day after Christmas. What are you talking about? A mother who's going to die doesn't refuse a donor test because it might hurt. She refuses when she knows it won't match tends to happen when mother and daughter aren't mother and daughter. I can do DNA tests if you'd rather keep lying to me. I never wanted kids. I love them, but with my genes, I knew this woman. A drug addict. She got pregnant, didn't want to have an abortion. But she also didn't want her daughter to ever know who her real mother was. What she was. I promised never to tell. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Any people know holiday spirit? Bring me the eggnog of good cheer. House, if you have something to say, say it. If you don't, give us a chance to get home before Santa. Scrooge. Give the patient Respiridone. That's an antipsychotic. She's dying. She's not crazy. I am going to perform a Christmas miracle. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy. You said all the other causes of osteopetrosis are fatal. Except for the one we discounted early, because it was impossible. When a fetus forms, it's just a mass of cells. Breast tissue covers extensive portions of the body. As the fetus develops, most of this tissue recedes, remaining only in the fun places. But sometimes, extra breast tissue is left behind in places where it doesn't belong. Risperidone does a lot of things. One is, it makes breast tissue swell so we can find it more easily. You're telling me I could have breast cancer somewhere not in my breast? That doesn't make sense. Taub's parents have a winter condo in Florida. They're still New Yorkers. Actually, my parents don't care. I told a parable. Now I'm going to raise the dead. In that syringe. That's gotta be a fat deposit. Yes, I could be wrong. If I am, she's dead, so. Shut up.
What's that? Asparadone also causes galacteria. What's that? Galact galactic? Open your mouth. Relax. You've had it before. I am not. Milk. Ew. We'll cut out your mom's tumor and start her on chemo. All the rest of your symptoms should go away. I love you. I know. Bloodletting. Porphyria is a rare genetic disorder that causes an overproduction of a certain protein. Draining the blood relieves. A hair test for damage from drugs showed she has a rare genetic disease? No, not exactly. We're testing her now to confirm. You're treating it before you confirm it? Blood test results take 24 hours. You must have seen something that, that makes you suspect it. Uh, Dr. House has a theory. A theory based on what? We'd like a different doctor. I assure you that Dr. House is our best. And we will settle for second best. Someone who doesn't think my wife is sick just because she's religious. If you prefer, I can give your wife my second best diagnosis. Do you know Wilson's dating Amber? I have reviewed the chart. Someone on your team must have pointed out that cryoglobulinemia also fits the symptoms. Yes, it fits many of the symptoms. My wife's body is sick. Her mind and soul are fine. You live according to God's 600 commandments, right? 613. You understand them all? It takes a lifetime of learning. But you follow the ones you don't understand because the ones you do understand make sense and you believe that the guy who created them knows what he's doing. Of course. So. You will trust my diagnosis, and you'll let me treat her, because in this temple, I am Dr. Yahweh. I want a new doctor. I'm starting her an endomethacin for the cryoglobulinemia. People don't change. For example, I'm gonna keep repeating, people don't change. So alcoholics that successfully go through treatment don't exist. They're still alcoholics. They never take a drink as long as they live, as long as they didn't live long enough. If you're dissatisfied with your life, changing it is a symptom of mental health. I get why that concept is strange to you. O2 sets are 85. She's hypoxic. We might need to intubate. What's wrong with her? Well, it's definitely not cryoglobulinemia. Better ask him. We kept her on oxygen overnight. Her respiratory rate stabilized and her OSAT's back up to 95. So I Amber drop off Wilson this morning? Yes, the male always drives the female. So what caused the breathing problem? Pulmonary involvement rules out porphyria. She kiss him or he kiss her. I missed it. The lab tech with the tongue stud also pulled up. Wegner's would explain her elevated set rate. Wegner's wouldn't explain the changed mental status. Actually, we've been trying to ignore that part of the whiteboard. I wrote it in black. I'm always serious when I use black. Lupus would explain. Maybe she didn't change. Are you agreeing with me or are you making a point? I'm making a point. It's going to take longer. How do we know that the real Roz isn't who she is now and who she was then? Can't we say that her previous life was true without making her present one a fraud? The life is messy argument. Nice. Explains everything without explaining anything. If it's lupus, there's a heart problem we don't know about yet. Run her through a stress test. If she has a heart attack, I'm right. Well, we could wait, hope that. You're afraid to give her a heart attack. Of course we're afraid. No to reason to be afraid. Unless you think I'm right. It's Wagner's. But we'll have the crash cart just in case. I need you to go faster, Rod. A little harder. I am going harder, damn it. What if Dr. House was right? And Roz did make a radical change. Lupus is chronic, but treatable. And with the treatment, it would undo the change? She'll be the way she was before I knew her? I don't think it's likely. And you don't know for sure? You'd find someone else. There isn't someone else. You've had three dates. How long have you been married? 12 years. And is she the one? 
We wouldn't still be together if she weren't. I love her as much now as the day. Oh, you should love her more. The more you know someone, the more you should love them. Okay, that's enough, Roz. Your heart's as strong as a battleship. Does this mean Dr. House was wrong? Oh, oh, my leg. Oh. Heart strong enough to prove you wrong about the change of mental status. Only proves this isn't lupus, just as the leg pain proves it isn't Wagner's. Leg pain can be from nerve entrapment. We're thinking blood clot. Do an MRI to look for the clot. And do an fMRI. An MRI alone will detect the clot hasn't dissolved. fMRI could show signs of near ischemic stroke in post ischemic parts of the brain. Give me 10 bucks. No. I missed lunch. I thought you went out. I missed lunch. Good symmetrical activity in both hemispheres. Caudal structures look okay. She hasn't changed. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, the 600 rules of God are all in there somewhere. We oversimplify people. It's how the human mind works. Everything's on or off. Everything's got a category. You don't like it. You don't want to be oversimplified. Roz, move your right leg. No one can describe themselves in 10 words. Why would we want to hear anyone else do it? So you keep it a mystery. No categories if no one knows anything. Do you think maybe you're oversimplifying me now? No. I'm sure you have many reasons to keep yourself a mystery, besides the fact that you're bisexual. The denial would have worked before the long vacant stare. Roz, move your left leg just an inch. People who have a problem with boxes are people who don't fit in them. You've been working for House for a long time. No need for name calling. I would ask if this was going to be lunchtime gossip, but lucky for me. I don't give a damn. How's our mental yentl? MRI shows no sign of clots. FMRI shows no problem areas. They'll restart her IV. What's wrong with it? Nothing. But like so many procedures we put patients through, it hurts. Which, if she's enjoying it, will show up in pretty colors. This is why you wanted an fMRI? It showed she didn't have a blood clot, which is diagnostically relevant. And it can show that she's become a masochist, also diagnostically relevant. And it'll be cool. Either explain which part of my analysis that makes sense, or go do it. It isn't cool. Sorry. Heavens. Look at our limbic system. Pleasure centers lighting up like a Hanukkah bush. Foreman must have a touch like an elephant. Okay, Roz, we've got what we need. Yes, it was impressive. Ross, you all right? Oh, sorry, I was praying. All through the procedure? No, when Dr. Foreman apologized, I knew something bad was gonna happen. She was praying. Could explain the brain activity. and heart rate are dropping. She's crashing. She's stabilizing. Get her up. All the way up, on her feet. Make her do that again. It's always the same conversation. They tell you you must be mistaken, which is why I always run the tests twice, and then they blame the other guy, which makes sense if they're innocent, but obviously half of them aren't. They don't seem to get that they're busted. Scientifically proven. Unless your spouse cheated too. 
Exactly. That's what you're praying for in that moment, that she cheated too. And then if she doesn't kill you, you know that she did. You know she betrayed you. And then you realize that that sucks worse. <clears throat> the test must be wrong. I ran it twice. Not that test. The one I took 10 years ago. What other explanation is there? He really sees no other possibility. Did you have an affair? No. Then why aren't you angry with him? You ever know anybody who's just too nice? No. It's annoying. Then you realize it's annoying because they remind you of what you're not. That you'll never be as good as they are. And then you think, why can't I? And before you know it, that naive idiot you laughed at has made you a better person. You really think I've been in love all these years with a symptom? If syphilis caused lesions in his brain and the lesions caused personality changes, you may notice a change in him as his condition improves. I know my husband, he's not gonna change. You should get yourself tested. So much for the bell curve. How can house be an ass without it being an illness, but niceness is a biological crime? You got five bucks? I, uh... Niceness just costs you five bucks. Being an ass generally turns a profit. Cutner, could you excuse us? I need to do Tom's review. You can stay. I think it'd be better if this was done privately. This isn't gonna be done. What is it with you guys? I've given you advice before. Not as our boss. What's the difference? Advice is advice. Fair enough. I'll go first. <clears throat> you demonstrate a great air of confidence, which is really pissing me off. House authorized. How long have you known him? He's using you. I volunteered because I knew he, he wouldn't. He would care less about the paperwork. He's using you to screw with you. He knows it'll annoy us, we'll stand up to you, which will force you to confront the fact that even though you think you're our superior, you're no different from us. He gave you authority to keep you in your place. It's true. Thanks. Not him, what'd he say? Nothing, what's true? If there's something wrong with this guy, it means there's something wrong with House. You bitch! I just went to get us some lunch. You were asleep. You moved my book. Jeff, calm down. It's just the drugs. The drugs didn't move my book. Jeff. My husband's having a heart attack. Can somebody help me, please? Or she scabbed. Depends on your point of view. So what do we think? New symptom or just a wife beater? Hey, time for you to take this baby for a spin. We uh, loaded him full of prednisone to try to fix the liver. Good news is it's running out of organs to fail. Prednisone could cause roid rage, which could cause hypertension, which results... Roid rage after six hours? That rate right by sundown, and they'll be eating most of us. Uh, it still could be penicillin, allergic reaction. How does a fried liver put him into a rage? It's not frying his liver, it's frying his syphilis. Penicillin's working, the real patient is emerging. So syphilis prevents domestic violence. I'm gonna be even more attractive to the ladies. I was gonna test for a heart issue before the syphilis. PFO could explain the heart attack and reduced blood flow to the brain could explain the rage. Well, they're all good ideas. Okay, let's take a vote. How many think it's the roids talking? And who's for the penicillin? And how about whatever she said? Someone hasn't raised their hand. Whatever I decide. You set me up. <laughs> Why would I do that? PFO. PFOs have it. 
hope the bubble test is positive. Or it's no more Mr. Nice Guy. You know that thing I was gonna tell you? I gotta tell you. I gotta tell someone. You got to swear not to tell CB. Whatever. What's that swearing? That's shrugging. That's the opposite of swearing. I won't tell Amber. My team thinks that I have syphilis. Do you? Not yet. Why do they think you do? Because I knew that they had access to an old blood sample. I knew they'd tested sometime for something. Why would you swap your blood? What are you afraid they'll find? Shut up. You're missing the point. Now, they think that I'm on penicillin. Is this some clever practical joke that I'm not aware and of? as I get better, I get nicer. <laughs> That's brilliant. Foreman thinks I actually value his opinion. <laughs> Thank God he said PFO or I've had to do some dancing. <laughs> you got time for bowling? It's work hours. I'll get my shoes. So we don't need to talk about... No. You're going to keep screwing. Yeah. You're going to keep talking about it. We are who we are. I'll get my shoes. Patient tested positive for syphilis, right? Is this some sort of recap? But why did he test positive for syphilis? Oh, ah, uh, I know this. Either one, he has syphilis. I was going to say that. Or two, the test was wrong twice. Or uh, three, he gave us someone else's blood. Who? Amber. Get that idiotic smile out of my face. I gotta go on a killing spree. Or four, he has something that tests positive for syphilis. It's not Chagas. He worked in Costa Rica before he was married. Is two a spree or do I have to kill you too? Chagas wouldn't explain the niceness. I've heard of remote tribes that actually practice acts of kindness or the Chagas caused encephalitis. MRI showed no signs of it. Until we started him on steroids, compromised the immune system and let the infection flare up. I did another one. It's not much. It's plenty. You figure this out because I don't have syphilis. Damn. That should have been my epiphany. Good news, bad news. The good news is, you know what you have. It's treatable, you're gonna live. <laughs> really? What's the bad news? The cure is a grueling course of pills. It's like one a day for a month. <laughs> now you're just trying to make me laugh. Yeah, like that's a challenge. You have Chagas disease, it's a parasite. It's been asymptomatic for 10 years. Not quite. Your brain's been swollen. Not enough to see, but enough to alter your personality. Now we're back to that. He screamed at you. You don't think he can change? That was because of the drugs. So you think drugs are more powerful than parasites? I mean, the ones we're going to give you to treat the parasites obviously are, but I, I stand by the principle. I'm not worried. Neither am I. Neither am I. That's because I don't care. The paramedic who brought him in is also named Martin Harris. Well, if the name was Attila von Wienerschnitzel, I'd say you might be onto something. Look, room 406, abdominal pain. Room 403, left-sided numbness. 402, syncope. He's copying his neighbor's symptoms. No. Yeah, coincidence is much more likely than you being a stubborn jerk. Munchausen's patients create symptoms, not names. Munchausen's patients have medical histories they don't want us reading. No laryngeal spasm. Breathings resume normal rate without intubation. You see, nothing's wrong with him. He's in a lab coat. Munchausen's pretend to be patients, not doctors. 
He's got mirror syndrome. Giovannini's? Do you know another mirror syndrome? Brain's got no idea who he is, where he is, what he is. So it fills the holes with whatever dirt's lying around. He reads a name tag. He's got a name. Sees a doctor, he's got a job. Sees symptoms, he's got a problem. My explanation's simpler. Well, if it's simple, then we discharge the nut bar. But if it's complicated, then the nut bar has got brain damage. So we let him jerk them around for a few days till we're sure? No, nope. we let him jerk you around. There's a faster way. Mind if we play through? Sure, what could possibly go wrong? What's going on here, Martin? Operation House? Who is this guy? Excellent question. Who are you, Martin? Just likes to watch and do stuff. Number 10 scalpel for initial incision. Glad you're here, House. Of course you are. It's lecture time. Yeah, it is. Stop worrying about the power play. Was that it? I think you can go a lot deeper here. I mean, why am I so obsessed by all of this? You're threatened by Foreman and feel the need to impress Cuddy. The only thing that's relevant is Foreman is a good doctor. He can help you. Lighten the load. Good idea. I'll have him sort my mail. Sure. Deflect. Who is this guy? I think we just found out. It's all about Cuddy. It's gotta be the alpha dog. Can almost smell the pheromones now, huh? I like him. Huh. Told you I didn't need you. Ow! House, what is going on? Ow! Blood's turned to sludge. If we don't heat you up, you're gonna die. Can't fake that! Infections can hide deep beneath the skin. This will find them. Who was that last doctor? Dr. Amber Velakis. I don't really need her name. Wait, you're saying that you... <laughs> I want her? Don't know what you want, don't care what you want. I'm married. So am I. Even if I wasn't, she's a little too, uh, aggressive for me. Hey, aggressive is never a bad thing. Yeah, true. <laughs> I'm done. You okay? Yeah. We gotta run some more tests. You can uh, clean yourself up. We're gonna use your spinal fluid to tell us where you lived. Cool. Not really. It's a poor substitute for an actual history, and without... Nah, it's cool. Yes, it is. I need you to stay as still as possible. Ignore the pain. Bring the pain. I'm not a masochist. Neither am I. I know, but I was responding to you, responding to... Never mind. I just like experience. If it's new, it's interesting. Yeah, not me. I don't just like new, I gotta have new. If it's not there, I make it there. Really? I'm just easily bored. There are 300 million people in this country. If I'm doing exactly what everyone else is doing, then who the hell am I? You know what I mean? I'm just about finished. I like hot tubs. <laughs> They're nice. <laughs> it was necessary. And that was all that mattered. It's exciting, isn't it? You're happy. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Oh, hey. Hey, you with me? 
I need help in here. Beep it. We got a shot. Get him out of the water. How long's he been out? Just a few seconds. He's dry enough. Not yet. Dry faster. Ten more seconds. He'll get brain damage. He needs to arc it. Wait. He's, he's dry enough. Clear. You gotta. It worked. For one of them. Do I know you? You look familiar. You too. My name's Robert Elliot. I'm from Hamilton, Ohio. Me too. What do you do? Mm, stuff. Me too. It brings you to New Jersey. Is it work or vacation? Work. What type of work? I'm tired. I eat out a lot. Not eat pine. Richie's. I know those places. They're good, huh? They're convenient. For what? They're on the road. On the road a lot? No more than you, I suppose. Should we use this stuff? I use it all the time. I use it all the time. Yeah, I just said that. You know, the cool thing about this stuff is you do a lot with it. You soften your skin, you treat scrapes. Naughty stuff. Why did you do that? Because it doesn't smell like dung. You're saying you like the smell? Not really. It just doesn't smell like dung. Something else does smell like dung. Yeah. Dung. You guys ready? Now is the time you stare at me in slack-jawed amazement. He sells farm equipment. See? Pig lagoons, pig farms. And as every child knows, where you have pigs, you have pig poo. But as very few children know, where you have pig poo, you have epirithrazine infection. We'll start him on clarithromycin. This time tomorrow, He'll be back to his old self.